In today's video, I'm going to share with you as an engineer, how can you become a very important demand for a multinational company with some skills? I can show you problem solving skills, which every other multinational company consultant and client is looking for. Well, my name is engineer Vakas Ahmed and today's video, I'm going to talk about how to convert a very simple BOQ Excel sheet into very strategic document on which everything will be very much clear. Either it is about time, work, cost, or resources, or futuristic requirements of manpower, material, and machinery. But how this engineer can transform this simple document of BOQ, which is very random and having no uh, direction to the strategic document to which we call project schedule. Stay there by the end of this video because I'm going to share with you very workable skill set information and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel so that in future if I'm going to make any video you get that link on time. So at the end I'm also going to give you away one Primavera P6 XR file as well if you are going to write there in the comment section area Primavera P6 XR file. Well start from this thing as a planning engineer this is something I'm sharing with you. Uh, building terminal building BOQ and uh, many engineers which who are watching this video right now familiar with this document to which we call BOQ bill of quantity and uh, this document will be prepared by you know senior designers and uh, estimators and they are going to take off the quantities from detailed design and here is the work description while construction of this building they need this work to be done this is total quantity of this work and this is the unit of measurement, the rate for this one unit and the total amount, right? So that is the uh, BOQ format, bill of quantity and so on. You can see every single task or construction site activity has been calculated or material takeoff, uh, you know, exercise, MTO, we can call it. And you can see that after having 112 columns, you can see that total amount has been concluded to construct this building. Uh, along with this one, you can see there are MEP works, uh, mechanical, electrical and plumbing as well. But I'm going to give you my uh, comments and instructions that how to convert this BOQ in very short time so that you have a good idea that how this gonna be a very big and grand problem solving skill. And we have to convert into such kind of document. If you will be able to convert this BOQ into such kind of document, it means companies are going to hire you with open hands with, you know, as per your requirement offer letter. You got my point? Because within this document, you can see everything is sequential on your right hand side. You can see the logic, which work I have to start first you know, under this specific timeline, the bars are being uh, shown over here. The logic is there. The dates are there. Days are there. And if I can get into the work details, like under rebar work, I can get into the details. You can find here resources, how many resources we require, their cost. And along with that, we can see that cash flow spreadsheets over there as well, right? So as of now, let me get back to the BOQ. First of all, there are project management protocols and guidelines to which we cannot overrule. Expert judgment is there. Whenever we are going to deal such kind of template, we need to involve senior people like senior designers or the people who have been uh, you know, handling with such kind of templates. That is the first thing. The second most important thing, benchmarking. Benchmarking, if already some other company have done this project, we can take some guidelines out of that template like already Primavera P6 schedule has been established so we can take guideline from that one right that how uh, are what kind of possible deliverables we have to uh, make or extract out of this document third most important thing we have to segregate this BOQ at higher level like uh, if this is a building construction project everybody knows that building different components first of all there is foundation or you can say footings then there are columns, there are beams, and there are column up to slab, slab level, then there is block work, and then there is uh, roof treatment, 
MEP work within MEP we can subdivide mechanical, electrical and plumbing. So we all know it very well that how building will be constructed but in our meetings in our given documents we can further discuss and get into the details in specific way. So right now uh, I am assuming that you are a fresher you are alone so I am going to introduce you people with AI that how you can use AI your mind and benchmarking documents and you can utilize your full potential to convert this document into Primavera P6 document. So this work we have to convert this is called earthwork. So excavation in this specific column the designer has explained their requirements that what they want contractor to carry out on the site area. Now you know this is like excavation in foundation of building bridges and other structures including uh, uh, you know, degabling, dressing, refilling around structure with excavated earth, watering and uh, ramming. Now within this, uh, you know, timeline, the planning engineer is not going to work on this alone. Designer is already there. So quantity surveyor is going to help this planning engineer. Many people are going to make this obsession. Oh, I'm a planning engineer. I'm going to do this thing alone. No, quantity surveyor. Why quantity surveyor is uh, there? to assist planning engineers. So they are going to segregate if this excavation is also added, uh, the quantities from other like bridge structures, building structures. So that guy is going to segregate those quantities as per the shop drawings, right? So as of now, this is going to be a part of foundational activity, but you can see filling, watering, supply, stacking and filling, granular supply and laying two layers of polythene, cement, concrete, plain, including providing there are many things has been given to construct this building so what i'm going to share with you people just take this one i'm using chat gpt as of now you can also use this one because now we are living in ai era so control c right i'm going to share with you people over here chat gpt and uh, act like a construction manager expert for building and convert this BOQ data into WPS and activity in node format. Node format is actually we are using within Primera P6 this is called node format this complete is noding building is a node under this building you can see hsc and all that see so that is why i am asking chat gpt is to prepare as per real building construction industry so now i am going to make copy paste over here whatever i have taken from boq and you can see that all the BOQ has been placed over here. Don't worry about it. You have just given the instructions that you need all this WBS in node format with the, all that uh, activities and all that, right? So just make it go to uh, for the purpose which, for which you have uploaded this BOQ. So through this AI approach, uh, I, I'm not saying every time you are going to use AI. I'm saying that how optimized way you can use AI for 90% accuracy for rest of 10% you can sit around with your quantity surveyors and you can take your templates uh, and uh, you can you know make double check and if there is any error you can save your time and make it as per the requirement right. So now it's running out there there are many other applications of chat GPT uh, agent these are paid ones right. And even you can use a free one, chat GPT as well. And it is going to give you the exact, uh, um, you know, uh, outcome as per your requirement. And now you can see that uh, this is actually processing about your BOQ. And uh, what you need to do after that, you have to process that data, load that data into WBS in um, the shape of, uh, you know, if you're, you can see that your project has been subdivided into engineering procurement and construction first of all you are going to make these deliverables your engineering procurement are head office plannings construction is the boq will be uh, you know uh, getting into this one construction 
and further you can see that construction has been subdivided into civil works building and further building has been substation uh, site preparation and you can see that if i can just you know first you have to make your convert your boq into these are the wbs major level and within these wbs you are going to get your all those activities going, uh, you know taking from that boq descriptions and all that like if there is slab beam uh, in in that description it is given like you have to make form work rebar work concrete pouring maybe in single cell but here as a identification of a separate task you are going to identify them as a separate activities right so let me share with you get back to this one and here we are now you can see that the site investigation or protection will be your first wbs under construction right and then uh you know this pre-construction substructural general you know you can discuss these things with your management team with your construction site supervisors that this template is ready to go right these are wbs codes but uh, as you can make your own wbs code or go by default prepared by primera p6 termite and dam protection because it is given there right you can make double check from boq it's given there yes i have gone through that one and you can see that right under excavation there was something like supply stack you know soil inv investigation spray anti termite so it is giving you all the things anti termite treatment to foundation bitumen coating then earthwork this will be working as a wbs then under that wbs you can make another wbs like child wbs earthwork in excavation sub base let me share with you this will be major WBS and this will be uh, division of that WBS into sub-components 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. To complete this second WBS, you have to execute these four sub-WBS. Uh, and further, you can see set out foundation. These would be your activities. You got it? These will be activities. And that is how the first thing now this is called your scope you your primary duty is to convert your boq this thing into your uh, project schedule first you have to load this one right in this format first you have to make your loading over here all the wbs given by this chat gpt see this earthwork will be there i'm not gonna do this because it's going to take a lot of time but if you want to see that how to do this one i'm going to tag you people with this link you can just click there and you can just start understanding how to incorporate wbs activities and how to make them link up with each other and write down there in the comment section area that uh, which engineering discipline you have and do you want to change your job career into planning control so that my team can approach you and uh, provide you that one live free masterclass uh, coupon link you can join that uh, session free of cost and i'm gonna talk to you about your career counseling about your transformation to planning engineering about other skill sets and all those amazing things right so i hope this video has helped you a lot uh, in terms of how to you know convert your ordinary engineering job career into a very skilled engineering job career to which we call planning engineering and uh, in the deep down there how to convert boq the very simple document into optimized one where complete project strategy will be there but there are many things i could not explain uh, but i have tagged the link over there and moreover those all things will take a lot of time which i would fully explain in my upcoming uh, you know full batch in which i train people as a planning engineer if you wish to uh, grow your career as a planner scheduler in uh, multinational companies my batch is open for you people make your enrollment and be part of it and start learning these skills and write there in the comment section area about your engineering discipline